As researchers, it's important that we are able to tell other people about our research. That's why Baylor College of Medicine has made these buttons. Ask me about my research. It's also why I invited Benjamin Armstrong to come here today so we can talk about our research. What kind of research do you do? So I do research in humans, in people, and we do research in an area called epidemiology. And I study the risk factors and things that cause specifically cancer in humans and people in large populations. What is epidemiology? I knew you were gonna ask that question. So epidemiology is a field of study to understand why people develop diseases. We look at different kinds of things like genetics to see whether somebody was born with some type of a gene that could have caused their disease. We look at different um, populations over time and collect data on all of these uh, individuals to try to learn more about what kinds of things could cause their disease. How do like the research like tend to work? How does it work? Well, when you do research with humans in large populations, it requires us to first um, define our population of who we want to study and identify where we're able to access this population, whether it's going to be in the field, like of people who were exposed to Hurricane Harvey. In our cancer studies, we're interested in whether or not somebody might have developed a gene from a generation above them or another relative and so we try to identify people with that specific disease that might have a family history. So there's lots of different ways that we identify our populations and it depends upon our research question. What did Hurricane Harvey have to do with your research? Well, you know, it was really interesting because I've never done research after a disaster. Really what happened is, is that our research took a whole different turn because everything in Houston was really at a standstill for a while. And so we've been doing work in the, you know, looking at environmental factors and trying to understand what happens to people, whether or not being flooded could create stress in their life. We hurried and put together a research project where we could get out in the field within 30 days, which is really quick. We interviewed people, we took biological samples, we had them sample in their homes to see if there was mold growing. And, and so it was really kind of an exciting project that's still going on and we're trying now to understand what kinds of environmental exposures they had based on where they lived, being exposed to bacteria and fungus and mold that would have long-term effects that could have on their health.